Number 39. What is the best coefficient of performance possible for a hypothetical refrigerator that could make liquid nitrogen at negative 200 degrees Celsius and has heat transfer to the environment at 35 degrees Celsius? So basically, the coefficient of performance, all right, I developed this formula in number 37, so please take a look at that. The coefficient of performance of a heat pump, uh, and, a, and if I want to find the best coefficient of performance for a heat pump, I would have to take one and divide it now by the Carnot efficiency, okay? Again, this formula was developed in number 37. Um, so here, they didn't tell me the efficiency, but they did give me two temperatures, right? So I'm thinking about how do two temperatures result, or not result, but relate to Carnot efficiency, and it's basically in this formula right here. So I can simply do a substitution, right? This is equal to the Carnot efficiency, so, so I can just do a substitution. The coefficient of performance is going to be equal to 1 divided by 1 minus temperature of the cold, temperature of the hot reservoir, blah, blah, blah. And literally, it's just a nice plug-in now, right? So there's just 1 divided by now, 1 minus temperature of the cold. It's going to be negative 200. you got to add 273 to that. Okay. Divide that then by 35 plus then the 273. And voila. Calculator time. So I'm going to find the numerator first. So negative 200 plus 270. I mean the, the complex denominator portion. Negative 200 uh, plus 273 divided by... 35 plus 273, 1 minus that answer, so the denominator is about 0.76, and then 1 divided by that. So this works out to be about 1.31. So the coefficient of performance is uh, best, the best coefficient is about 1.31. All right. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Remember, check out number thir uh, 37, and we'll see you soon. Take care.